Hello everybody, it's David with another video. Um, continuing on with uh, VGA after what uh, what I learned about animating non-rectangular objects and also moving objects using buttons on the basis three. Uh, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna try and remake Frogger. Um, so out of all the classic video games, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Centipede, Frogger, Cuber, you know, I think Frogger would probably be the easiest one to remake. Because, so, you know, Pac-Man with the ghosts, you know, you have to, there's some programming that goes into how each one of them moves and seems as though each one of them actually has its own personality. But this is what the Frogger game is going to be based on, is the old Atari Frogger. Um, the graphics aren't as detailed, which makes the project a little easier. <laughs> but this is what it's uh, my aim is to have it look like. And so I started out by trying to break down that screen. So I know there's a lot going on here, but essentially you can break the screen up into 15 sections of 32 pixels because 15 times 32 equals 480 in the vertical direction. Um, so, let's see. There's this little four pixel here. So each section, this is, you know, 32 pixels per section. So 32, this whole uh, water area from the bottom of this wall is five sections. The street is five sections. One section here, one section here. Got 28 pixels down here because I'm using four pixels here. But all in all, we have 15 sections of 32 pixels going this way. As far as the vert or horizontal breaking it apart, we have the right edge, the left edge. I'm not putting these lines in here. I don't know what those are there for, but I'm not putting them in there. And then this part up here. So I broke down like each... Uh, I call these blue sections with the little froggy in it the home and then this is the wall so I have 10 sections of 64 pixels wide but this one this edge here is 32 and this edge here is 32 with 9 in the middle so that's how um, this is all broken down and which which is nice because you have five sections of 32 pixels in here for log turtle log log turtle you know five lanes of vehicles and then we just have to make the uh the height of these a little less than than 32 pixels so otherwise they'll the edges will collide here's the frogger right here you know, atari was really really onto it with their uh their graphics here but kind of looks more like a four-legged spider but but whatever I'll take you over to the code okay here we are in Vivado uh, it's a basis 3 project in Verilog there's only three modules and a top same VGA controller right here uh, same type of deep bouncer just for a reset button uh, here's the pixel generation I put uh, some stuff in here for future consideration um, but we don't really need that in here now. So if you see some stuff commented out, um, that's for further on down the line. But here's the pixel gem. We got the video on the X and Y and the RGB. Um, here's RGB values. I used a color picker on the screenshot. And then although that was in 8-bit, uh, or was it? No, 8-bit resolution. For, yeah, for each color. So 0 to 255 for each color. We only got 4-bit here, 0 to 15. So I just, it looks pretty close. So, but yeah. Here's the colors. Uh, pixel location status signals. I'm just breaking down that screen into a bunch of different sections and creating signals for all these sections. And then down here, creating the boundaries for all of those sections and signals. And then here's the RGB multiplexing. Um, when the video is, uh, we're not in the display screen. We got black, and then everywhere else we there's only what four colors? Yeah, green, blue, yellow, black. And so for each section, um, there's a color, and that's it.
Um, here's the top. Um, like I said, here's some stuff for future consideration to move the frog buttons for up, down, left, right. Um, wires for connecting all that. But yeah, just top module can tying all those in together. Um, the RGB buffer right here with the pixel tick. Here's the constraints, 100 megahertz clock, button for reset. Um, the RGB, the VGA controller stuff, RGB, H-Sync, V-Sync, uh, V-Sync. All right, let me show you it working. All right, so here's my screen. This is what I have created. Maybe the colors, you can't see it so well, but um, remake of it. This, this screen kind of sucks. I'm going to get another screen. You can see you can see my back porch over here. The horizontal back porch and the vertical back porch. Look at this green section here versus this green section here. And then also I'm losing pixels on the top where I got to put the score. So I'm going to get another screen. I could augment my code and then shift everything over and draw in the porches. I don't know if that's good or not. I might try it out. But I'm just going to get another screen. But there you can see the start of Frogger. So part one, we just got the background done. Um, and the next part, I'm going to add more stuff. Uh, an animating the objects, moving the frog, uh, creating all the ROMs for all the images. But uh, there you go. Part one of Frogger Remake. Thanks for watching.